Hey, fifth grade friends. We are ready to move on with our Greek masks. Last time we had our class, there was a video in the assignment that showed you um, the different steps to take to fold your paper, cut the chin shape out, and then make a decision about whether or not you were going to make a comedy mask with the mouth in a happy face or a tragedy mask with the mouth turned down. After you did that, you took a big, another piece of paper, slipped it inside to get your size from the top of the head to the top of the mouth to be able to cut out the nose shape. So if you need to, just go back to that video to review. With your two pieces, your nose piece and your biggest um, shape for your face, we're gonna glue those together. Now when we glue these, we don't wanna glue it perfectly flat like this. We want our mask to be popping out of our paper. So we're not ready to glue on, onto the, the final paper yet, but I do want you to glue down your nose piece. I'm not gluing it sides from the edge to edge. It's not lining up. I'm going to bring it in slightly on both sides so that it kind of pops out a little bit and gives our mask some dimension. With your glue, I'm using regular old um, Elmer's glue all. I would recommend using that over glue stick, but if all you have is glue stick, that's fine. Glue stick seems to work for a bit, but then will eventually just kind of crack off. You don't need a lot. Just a small little dab of glue is all you need. Line it up at the top, but then pull it in on the sides. Now you have to give glue some grab time. So don't just stick it there and forget about it. You need to hold it there for at least 20 seconds so it can grab onto um, the other piece of paper. It's not going to be perfectly dried, but enough where it's not gonna slide around on you. Okay, so there is our nose piece attached to our mask. Now you're getting, going to get to decorate how you want your mask to look. So please take a look at the different examples that I've posted on your assignment. I am going to show you a few ways that you can accomplish a um, finished mask. Some of the things that you can do, um, taking your scrap paper, so the pieces of paper, this is the paper I used to cut out the, the nose piece, so using this. Keep your paper always folded in half because we are working symmetrically. Whatever happens on one side has to happen on the other side. So by keeping your paper folded in half, uh, what I did here is I made a cut all the way down and I'm going to go over. You will always get two pieces cut perfectly the same. I'm going to curl these pieces. I think I'd like to give my mask some curly hair. I'm going to just wrap it around a pencil and curl it, not all the way, but up to there. And now when I pull them apart, I have two pieces exactly the same. If you want to glue as you work, that's fine. Only a small amount of glue is all you need. Press and hold it there. And I'm gonna press and hold this one over here. So you're not working on one side and going over to the other. You're working on both sides, whether it's in the middle out or in the sides in to make your mask perfectly symmetrical. Whatever happens over here, happens over there. I could make some longer pieces by cutting out some longer strips from my scrap paper. So whatever you do, you're doing the same on both sides. So I'll do one more of these, and then I'm going to show you how to cut out some grape leaves. If you'd like to make a sort of crown on your mask, there's two, pull them apart. Now, if you don't want them so curly, you can always pull it out a little bit. And I think I'm just going to slide this one under that one for some longer hair pieces. Pull this one out a little bit. Under here, press and hold. And you can really have a lot of dimension by layering these different curls on your paper. It looks actually really cool. Now for grape leaves, again, keeping your paper folded in half. I have a piece of paper and I have it folded. What you're going to do, now you can certainly draw it out if I had to draw this out, I'd put a dot here for the, the how long I want it to be, 
and it's really just a frowny line and a smiley line, or just two curved lines. These two dots line up like a, whoops, on a line just like that. I find it's just as easy to just cut it without drawing it, and then you don't have pencil lines everywhere. So there's these. I'm gonna flip it over so my pencil line's on the back, and now I have two. But they're not very dimensional right now. So another thing you can do is take them and carefully fold them in half, and I'm just folding them half separately. And now they have a little bit more dimension. So if I wanted to build a, a crown of grape leaves on here, I would layer these. I would probably cut out a whole bunch to just make things easier, but then you would just kind of layer these across. If you want to start here and layer them this way or here and layer them on top that way, but I can use these to kind of cover up some of my paper edges that I don't really like there. You only need for the grape leaves a little bit of glue on the corner, and I'm going to stick this one here, press and hold it, give it that grab time, or else you're just gonna aggravate yourself because it's gonna keep falling off just like that. So I didn't hold it down long enough. Give it that like 10 seconds. I do recommend the Elmer's glue all over the Elmer's school glue, just as a side note, because I think it has a little bit more um, grab to it. It's a little thicker. And this one, I almost did the wrong thing there. We're gonna put this one over here. And I'm holding this one down for about 10 seconds. And all I'm going to do as I keep working on my mask is I might add more strips of curly hair. And after I do my curly hair, I'm going to be layering more of the grape leaves on my mask. So I'm just gonna work for a little bit longer while you watch. added some more curly hair. You can see how it really makes your mask kind of pop out. Um, please, if you're doing curly hair, you want to do that first because if you're wearing a crown, you're wearing it on top of your hair and you're not wearing a crown underneath your hair. That would look weird. Um, can you do just straight hair? Sure, you can do just straight hair. Can you make a beard? Yes, you can do that, but please remember, always keep your paper folded in half. And so you might wanna to check to see how you want that to look. And then if you want a beard, you can just kinda of cut it out, unfold it, and glue it there. If you want a curly beard, then I would just use the paper strips as you're working. Keeping with one color. If all you have is the color blue paper, well then just use blue paper. Just stick to one color. When we eventually get these all finished, and I know that my friends in class are going to be working on this for a few class periods, so don't feel like you have to get this completely finished today. Take your time and do your best work. Um, we will, when we're all done, be putting one dab of glue here, one dab of glue there, and that is it. We are not loading up the back of the mask with glue, and then we're just going to bend it and press it and hold it for quite a while and just let it sit there. And then our mask will be glued onto our paper, not flat like that, but dimensional like that. So have fun, take your time. This activity will last us definitely this week and um, next week. So you have both times to keep working on your masks. 